Pendle here with a sound us first, me. Um, sorry, this is me. Uh, I've got a bad case of lockdown hair and probably going as lockdown mental as the rest of you. Uh, but I thought let's move into the 21st century and have actually some meanness on the videos. I might actually watch this and decide to completely erase me or get a supermodel in to be me instead. Also, pushing the boundaries of the possible, we've got Percy Cam down there, or it might be over there, I haven't decided yet, but there will be a Percy Cam, he's behind me now, looking very miserable. Let's do this, Percy, good boy, he's a good lad. Anyway, point being, I'm showing off, no, the point being, the reason I'm here, other than to show me off, is to show you the new loop pool. Percy, get back in your bed, you're ruining everything. Oi, get back, get back to bed, in your bed. This is great, great TV. Percy, in your bed, in your bed. Good boy, go on. No, no, keep going, in your bed. He's looking at me forlornly now. There you go, good chap. Oh, sorry about that, I'm gonna do a bit of uh, dog wrangling. So, the point being, I'm here for loop pool boom and bust, there's an update. There's also a new loop pool instrument coming presently, but in the process, uh, I've updated the engine and made it even snazzier, I think. And what we've got now, looking down here, we've got a GUI control. So as we know, loop pool, it has a gazillion loops in it, all BPM synced to your door, but you can morph through different loops per note. So every note, and there's a whole load of those. Every note has four variations of loop. They all, and they all completely tempo sync. So I can do. And then go through. So I'm going through the variations there. We've also got load of effects on the moment, which I'm now going to turn off there. Um, what we can do now is we've got a thing I like to call a time funnel, but I like to call most things a time funnel if I can. So for each move, move group, <laughs> each morph group, you can play it back at a different time. So that's normal speed, that's one and a half times faster, two times faster, three times faster, four times faster, really fast and then half speed, third speed, and slow. So, if I play and then morph up to the second group, you still get a bit of leak from the first one, but it's always gonna be in sync. So it's a way of creating just two notes playing. And you can do something different to every layer. Let's try that again. So you can do kind of that kind of thing, add in some effects. Let's add in another note. Etc. This is just two notes again. This is still the same three notes now. You can do quite a lot. 
And uh, if you want to put it all back to normal again, merely control click and you're back to the normal place. Mic slipping. Everything's going wrong. Everything's going wrong, by the way. I'm trying to hold it together here. No, I'm slipping. Hello. Percy. Percy's not slipping. Uh, what? Yes. So, that's the first thing. Now, we've also got an offset mode as well now. So, per note, you can choose where the start point it goes up to 50%, which is halfway. It goes up to 50%, which is halfway. So, you could... As long as it's, if you do like 25%, then it's still going to say in sync, obviously. There you go, 25%. Ooh, 25%. Can't see. 25%. I'll cut that bit out. So that will start at a different point of the loop, but if you go to the next one, it won't. So even there, you can kind of create interesting new thingamabobs. So that's per note. So every single note of the whole of the um, loop possibilities, of which there are several hundred. Can't for the life of me think how many at the moment, but there's several hundred. You can pick it. If you want to put them all back, because you don't want to go and find every single one and then change it again, you can just hold down Alt, and that puts everything back to where it was before. Thereby saving a lot of hassle. Uh, as you may know from the original version, you've also got this really snazzy feature. So you can pick a note and then lock it across the keyboard. Still playing the same note. which that's me now playing a chord of that. And you've still got, obviously if you put some great effects on there, something good might come out of it. A bit of convolution, a bit of replica, de oh, la, la, la. replica delay. Mm, yeah, not convinced yet. Filter. But that works on any note. Oop, let's get the filter off. Pick a note, lock it. So rhythmically. So you can take things super low or super high, which will get a bit chipmunky because, hey, this thing isn't perfect. But any note, that's the joy of it and it will work. So, and that still works with the whole timing stuff as well. Just run. You can also reverse it as well, uh, uh, which is still, unfortunately, hold on, there you go. So the reverse works with note lock as well. For all manner of stuff, just turn note lock off and reverse. You can set a note going in reverse, turn it back, and then do forwards as well. And do all the uh, time funneling stuff. Uh, so that's the new-ish stuff. No, that was old. That's old. Uh, on the K6 version, you've also got the replica delay, which comes with a selection of presets, but it's so easy to make your own. And the re replica delay sounds great. I really like it. New function as well here. It tells you the name of the note you're playing over here, or the name of the loop that's being played. So if you then want to go into the actual pool of loops that come with the instrument, you can then, you know which one to look for, which I think is handy. I mean, it's great for these...
kind of uh, dark, cinematic, kind of problematic, difficult sounds, and also for just for kind of cool, loopy stuff as well. I mean, as you may know, the most of the it's kind of vaguely organised in a octave thing. So you've got the lower basses down the bottom, and then you've got kind of higher snary things in a similar place. <laughs> I've yeah, I mean why we spend hours mucking around with stuff, enjoying it unnecessarily. Um, snap mode over here means it will always jump to the right uh, point and stay in time if you're using a door. That won't work if you're not using a door unless you turn on the timing thingamabob in contact. Um, tape here which goes quite gnarly and you've got a reset there boink these the pucks for all the effects you can control here so you can right click on those to uh, use your controller to automate uh, we've now got a transient which can Kind of, it acts like a compressor really, it can kind of really boost the attack. And over here, I just tried to point to the screen. Over here you can see what you're actually doing. So, no nothing. Lots of attack, no sustain. Lots of sustain, no attack. Same goes with all of them. Uh, convolution is here, which you choose here. We've got some new categories, including spatial, which is quite nice for... Uh, More kind of EQ based space based stuff. Uh, some of these, if you turn wet, will work nicely. Some will get a bit scary. We've also got the uh, plate based stuff as well. Um, and an EQ here, a kind of peaking EQ, so that you can. Do some basic selecting, reset there, as with all of them, turn off there. And a traditional RTFM shows you some of the stuff I've been trying to show you there. Okay. Ah, uh, we're done snap. Volume. Guess what? Does the volume. Velocity, how, how the uh, loops respond to how hard you hit them on the keyboard. Pitch bend, amount. And attack to volume is in, oh, sorry, after touch to volume. So you can make things, that's me pushing the keyboard down. You can adjust volume by how hard you push the note. So you can do fades if you're going to reverse. It's quite useful. Uh, I think that's it. This has been Pendle and Percy in his bed. Say hi, Percy. He's ignoring me, he hates me. I hope some of this made sense. There have been technical issues during the making of this uh, movie. Pfft, what can I do? Look, I'm also slipping. Really annoying. Okay. Thank you very much. This has been Pendle and Percy. And, uh, oh, I don't know which side. Over there, the uh, Boom and Bust update. Thank you very much. Have a good one. I know these are kind of strange times. And I hope you're holding on there. It's um, it's difficult for everyone at the moment, isn't it? And all we can do is try and help each other out, I suppose, which sounds a bit corny and hippie, but, you know, good luck. And um, call me if you need anything. Thank you very much. Catch you later. Ooh. Catch you later. Bye. And we're out of here.